How to design professional emails with Canva. Good day, folks, and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how you can up your email game using a fantastic design tool called Canva. And with Canva, you can do absolutely everything. So I'm going to show you how to design an awesome email. I'm going to show you how to use the email templates. I'm also going to show you how to do one straight from scratch from an absolute blank canvas and let us jump straight in so the first thing you want to do is have your canva page open over here and you have a search bar so now in the search bar you can type in email and right over here you'll get a few options now one of the options is the email newsletter and we are going to click on that now this is if you would like to create an email using the templates that canva has provided for you so up at the top over here you have some filters what you can do is click on all filters and here you can define the types of templates that you want by style, theme, feature, subject, topic, color, and there's tons more. So you can really define as to sort of what email template you want and looking through some of these email templates it seems relatively easy to just go ahead, choose one that sort of looks nice and just fill in the information that you would like to. However, I like to go ahead and say create a blank email newsletter. You can go ahead and tap on that. Now, once you are here, you can go ahead and start from absolute, absolute scratch. So the first thing you want to do on your blank page is add your logo to the top of the email. So I'm going to use this Facebook page as an example. So as you can see over here, this is our Facebook page. I'm going to just go in here and you can see that all the information of over here you can use to create your Facebook page so the profile picture over here I'm going to use as the logo up at the top and if you click on this you're gonna see the C profile picture there are many ways to do this if you have the actual data on your desktop you can just import it but here we're gonna just tap on copy image and go back to our design over here we can right click and tap on paste and you can see now that you're allowed to paste that image so we're gonna go ahead and just resize it and we can just zoom in here a little bit and we can see a little bit more so we can now click down and move this up to the top of our page and immediately it's starting to look like something so what is it that we're making our newsletter for so we're going to go ahead and we are going to create a text box right in the top over here so on the left hand side you will see a toolbar and you're going to tap on the text toolbar here you can go ahead and you can choose from some of their templates that they have so you can see that there are a few options you can use and you can just choose one that really speaks to you i'm going to use this coming soon and you can now just click on it and you can move it around and we're going to just censor that as again and you can use your arrows to sort of move it around you can now also at the top of the page you can see that all of your settings are up here for the actual item or the element that you have selected so the text is selected now and we can just make that a little bit smaller and we can try and let that fit in in one line on the sides of this box you can see that there are some tabs we can just run them open like this and now we can just move this up again to center as you can see there's a purple line that runs through and that will actually indicate that the element that you are using or moving around is center to the page so you can see now that something is starting to happen we can now just change the color of the text so you can either choose one of the colors that are featured in your photo that is up there so you can use like that one that one that one or that one um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the um, the lighter one we're going to make it white and then we're going to create a box behind it so you can now go ahead to elements and right over here under elements you can go ahead there are shapes so if you tap on see all you can see that there are a few shapes over here and here is basically where you can add one of these shapes or a box behind the actual text over here so we're going to go ahead and we're going to use this one over here and as you can see you can move this along as to how you actually want to size it so we're going to click down and we're going to drag it up to our text and you can see here now that it's going to be sized accordingly 
and you can just open this side up using those sidebars and we can open this side up using those sidebars so again you want to have a look at actually um, changing the text um, so let us go ahead we're going to go in to the actual text itself and we can change that just by double clicking it and again we're going to make sure that all of this stuff is center and it's looking good we're going to now just select that box and if there's nothing selected, you can go up to the top of the toolbar, you can tap on position, and you can now tap on arrange on the left hand side, and you can see that you can now arrange all of your layers. So if you go under layers, you can select the item that you want to arrange, and you can either send it to the back, you can now also um, send it forward, and so forth. So you can now make sure that this is centered to your text, and also centered to the page so that it looks good we're going to just close this up a little bit and we can close that up a little bit right so now having a look at this we can actually sort of get an idea of what our page is starting to look like or what our email is starting to look like so from here we want to enter in some details over here and show people what they actually have to book for so we're going to go into facebook again and we're going to say see all photos and right over here we're able to have a look at some photographs that we want to uh, use and we can go ahead and let's say perhaps we want to use this one so we can say copy image we're going to go back in here we're going to right click and say paste and let's see what else we can use here so now we've got some images and basically what we can do here is resize them so they are currently all the same size and what we're going to do is we're going to go over again to the position button at the top we're going to tap on that and we're going to look for layers and we are going to select all of the images so the first thing you're going to do is select the first image and then you're going to hold in control and you're going to select all the other images now all of these images are actually selected and we can just resize them like so all at the same time now if we click anywhere off of our canvas we will be able to deselect them and now you can actually start putting them up and you can actually start to align them to your page so your email can somewhat start looking like this and you can now see the images so what you want to do again is go down and we want to put a book now at the bottom and we also want to put in some detail in terms of contact details if somebody wants to get hold of us and we're going to do so by doing this so we are going to select these two items and we're going to tap on the copy and now we can actually bring this down and it's copied the exact same detail right over there so we're going to put that just over here and the reason we do this is so that if somebody is scrolling all the way down to the bottom they have the opportunity now to click on the book now button without having to actually go back up to the top of the page we can now enter those details so we're going to add a text box over here and we can then just click outside of the box reselect it and move it down over here and we're going to select this and here we're going to go contact details and we're going to make this text black so let's select it again make it black we're going to make it a lot smaller than it is right so your contact details may look something like this you have your contact details you have your number and as well as your email address and of course this information is not accurate it is just a placeholder so the next thing you want to do is make sure that everything looks visible and if you want to you can add a background now and just by again importing an image or you can go over to the left hand side and tap on elements and here you can type in a search query as to whatever sort of background you want to use or if you don't want to use the search element you can just go ahead to images or photos and you can have a look through there and see if there's something that you fancy so the next thing we want to do now is go ahead and we want to actually make these book now items clickable so we're going to go ahead again to position and we're going to go over to the layers and we're going to select the book now and hold in control and select the other book now so that's the bottom one over here and if you right click on it you can see that you have a bunch of options so over here right and the bottom you'll see a link and over here what you can do is 
you can actually enter a link so whatever your landing page is going to be for the book now let's say that it is actually this home page over here and we're going to just copy that we can go back in here and we can paste it now we can hit enter and what will happen is when somebody clicks on this book now they'll actually be redirected to this home page over here and they'll be able to make a booking of course you can make this book now link whatever it is that you'd like and make sure that you've got a landing page set up for that once you are completely done with this we're going to go over to the right hand side of the screen at the top there is a share button you're going to hit this share button now once you hit this you'll be able to download this image and you can go ahead and tap on download over here so it'll be downloaded as a png or um, you can change it to jpeg you can change it to pdf standard pdf print svg mp4 and gif obviously there are no moving elements here so we're going to leave it as png you can also change the size here if you're sort of looking to upscale it so that your images are a little bit clearer or you know whatever is happening in here is a little bit clearer and there are some other options such as a transparent background which is irrelevant here and then we don't want to compress the file and we don't want to make the quality lower you can go ahead now also and save your download settings so you don't have to go through this each and every time and you're going to go ahead and tap on download it'll now be in your actual device that you're working on and now you can put it into any email platform that you are using and you can send this email out to anybody you would like I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like and we'll see you in another awesome video. Happy email building people. Goodbye.